Hello you guys, it's JK Sin and welcome back to my channel. If you think that you have actually seen this Hogwarts hoodie on my channel before, no you have not, just ignore the fact that I film a lot of videos on the same day and I like to wear hoodies slash jackets. All of that set aside, today what we are going to be doing is something that I made for Diwali. For those of you that don't know what Diwali is, Diwali is a festival of lights. It's kind of like Indian Christmas a little. Well, we celebrate and we eat a lot of good food. So, kind of like your Thanksgiving, I guess. Usually what I do is I do some kind of sweets or something like that. This year I wanted to do something a little bit different and give a little twist on cupcakes. So I made Ras Malai cupcakes. If you don't know what Ras Malai is, I don't have an explanation for you. It's like sweet, it's like a sweet milk situation with like cardamom in it. And then there's like like pieces of sweets inside of, it's a whole thing, um, Google it if you don't know what it is. But basically I made Ras Malai cupcakes and it's kind of like a Trace Leches cake but a little bit different because it has like more of an Indian twist on it but this is what they look like. I tried a whole bunch so let's get into how I actually made these guys because they were so good and they're actually pretty simple. You don't need too much stuff to actually make them. So let's get into it. But here are all of my cupcakes. I have these little flavor injectors that I got from the Dollar Tree. I got two just in case one of them breaks. Um, and then I have my dust mug. So this is the brand. I'm using the Nautic brand. I'm using the 12 piece one um, because that's the biggest one that they had. If your store has a bigger like thing, you probably want to use those. I just grabbed two of those. And what we're going to do is we're going to inject we're going to inject each of these cupcakes with the rasmalai, just like you would do like a tres leches cake, but you're using this. So basically, so I have my little injecty thing. So basically with the recipe, it calls for one tablespoon going into each, going into each cupcake. However, I have a lot more cupcakes, so I think I'm gonna only do 10, and then I can always go back and inject more if I feel the need to. Oh, and then I also forgot to mention, these are just Funfetti regular cupcakes that I baked with the ingredients on the back of the box because there's nothing, there's nothing too special about them. They're just regular cupcakes. Okay, so this is obviously not going that well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take out all of the pieces and then strain the liquid because it has like a lot of pistachios and that's getting stuck in my little opening and so I'm gonna take out all of the pieces of rasmalai and then just take the liquid and strain it so that I have just the liquid to inject. Okay, so now I have this is just the rest from the rasmalai and now this should be a lot easier. That was a hundred percent so much easier than before. Okay, so here I go with the very first one. Oh, that was so easy. The girl that um the girl that um the recipe that I'm following, she did hers, but she basically um went and had to scoop out like half. And I think that's why she didn't run into the problem that I did. Um, but I think this is so much easier. Okay, so I'm gonna go do that to all of the cupcakes and then I'll be back to show you guys. Now that we have made or injected the cupcakes, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the, we're gonna make the frosting. And so I'm gonna take two cups of Cool Whip. Um, you can use any whipping cream. That's two cups of Cool Whip, and then I'm gonna do one teaspoon of cardamom powder. And this I just got at my local Indian store, and what this is, it's I think it's a lychee powder, but I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. And then we're gonna put in some saffron. Um, I got this from Trader Joe's. So I also put in a third cup of sugar, and now I'm gonna whisk um, and my family, if you're watching, all I want for Christmas is a stand mixer because whisking things together by hand is hard. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It looks really, really good, actually. Um, I tried it. It's pretty good. 
Um, I think it's going to complement the cupcakes really, really well. So what I'm actually going to do is this is not going to be nearly enough to cover all. Um, I think I have like 56 cupcakes. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and double this batch and then I'll come back and show you guys how I'm going to pipe it. So for some reason, I didn't tell you guys what I was doing in this clip. And all I did was I just piped some simple rosettes. And do I have footage of me piping 56 rosettes on 56 cupcakes? Yes, I do. Am I going to sit here and force you to watch me pipe 56 rosettes on 56 cupcakes? No, I am not. So here is a couple of honorable mentions. It's time for a taste test. Disclaimer, in the last video I did say that I was off of dairy. I am off of dairy still, but this is something that I really want to try. And I feel like one cupcake won't really hurt. Especially because I've been dairy free for about four, day, four weeks now, so it can't hurt. But let's go ahead and give this a try. This is how it looks from the inside. It just looks like a regular cupcake. And I did end up just piping rosette you can kind of see like the cardamom powder i think the powder that i got wasn't like finely ground down enough because it didn't like mix into and dissolve but i don't know why i was expecting it to dissolve because it's not sugar or so i i don't know but let's give this a try the cake itself is actually really really moist oh yeah that's good. So when I injected these, I didn't put so much raspberry that the whole cake just kind of crumbles. I put it more so as like a in the center, moist situation. If you guys have ever seen Friends um, and how their sandwich has like a moist maker, if you if you've seen Friends, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it kind of feels like that. It's like just something in the middle. You don't feel it in every bite. But yeah, these are delicious. All right, you guys. So, what'd you guys think? Leave it down in the comments below. Let me know if you try this recipe because, wow. This was like a cupcake that definitely, like, was elevated. Like, the, the flavors were definitely elevated. definitely like every single pe person that I gave these to because I did these as like gifts um, like I packed them up all cute and everything like that um, and I did these as gifts um, and every single person like in my family people normally don't like I have a family full of diabetics so normally people don't eat like sweets or cupcakes or anything like that and if they do they stick to like more of the traditional treats every single person that I forced to try this loved it and like that includes like my mom who does was not really a big fan of cake um, that includes my grandma who like doesn't really eat cake at all um, and everyone liked it so if you have an Indian event coming up or anything like that I would highly suggest to try these cupcakes because 10 out of 10 would recommend but that is all that I have for you guys today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will see you in a video super super soon Mwah. bye guys <laughs>